the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Be careful listening to your friends, lady, because they will advise you straight into a divorce. Today, we got a compilation of a bunch of women absolutely regretting their divorce. They thought they was unhappy. They thought they were miserable. But what they experienced after the divorce, it was nothing to compare, man. But by then, it was already too late. The men were gone like the wind, had moved on and built better lives for themselves. Let's get straight into the video. I stayed in a marriage for 23 years and built up a family and my ex's career and everything and we literally just got to where it was supposed to be everything we dreamed of like owned a company making you know almost a million dollars and that was my breaking point and i left it all like left that was your breaking point where y'all were making a million dollars a year <laughs> left it all I had no clue that the worst was yet to come in the one year of separation. And the worst time of my day is after the gym at night when the house is quiet and silent and I just am in my thoughts. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I thought, I should have just stayed. I should have stayed. It wasn't that bad. Like, you made it 23 years. You made 26 years total. Your kids are like college and once almost out of high school like you made it you made it like and i called my girlfriend and i told her it was like i probably should have just stayed i should have just stayed it wasn't that bad and she just started she's like jenna what are you talking about like literally is my mental health really that important and then my friends remind me they're like yes like yes like you're just in that crazy in between stage it's terrifying to start over at 47 but it's hard to know you gave away my ex will probably never make less than a million dollars every year. Keep listening to your friends. Yo, her friend was probably jealous of the situation that she had. She was like, man, how am I make a million dollars a year? She lives in a fancy big house, man. She got it all. She has a family. <laughs> she advised her straight into a divorce. That's crazy. But to have a breaking point where you're making a million dollars a year and you have your family together and you just choose to walk away because you feel unhappy, that is crazy crazy and if you think starting at 47 is hard wait till you touch 50 wait till you touch 55 those lonely nights those quiet nights are gonna get worse and worse because you're gonna be in your thoughts and your husband's gonna be married off with a new family a new life he's gonna have peace stability and order and you're gonna be looking like oh my god what did i do and your friends are gonna still be telling you you did the right thing <laughs> the next video is a loving hip-hop star erica mena celebrating when she got the phone call from her lawyer about the divorce but she quickly regrets the divorce with the information that's provided to her shortly after check this out you cannot make this up oh my god I'm officially primary custodian of the kids. What about the child support? That's it? <laughs> You peep how she celebrates. She's super happy. I'm divorced, right? This is like, oh, I, I got full custody of the kids, right? What about the child support? That's it? <laughs> the craziest part about it is, man, that the guy was asked to pay $4,300 a month in child support. That's only on $50,000 a year just for you having a kid. Tony, that's crazy. Why? Why are you kidding me? No, not all of it is on you. <laughs> You're getting about 50 pants a year, man. What happened? You thought you were going to get divorced but still have access to all of his money. That's what you thought. Well, yeah. This is not fair. When a man shows you who he is, you have to believe him. When anybody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Like, he doesn't have to bring nothing to Look at the guy right there, man. That's I, I don't know who that guy is, but he's probably the one here. He's like, damn, man, how are we gonna live off of that, man? That's nothing. Nothing. That's the <laughs> that comes with being a woman that is so ride or die about love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, learn your partner before you you jump ahead and. 
fall in love with the words and all. Look at the guy's face pretending to care, pretending like, yo, that's crazy, man. That's all you're getting. I can't believe it. He's trying to, man, this bitch is crazy. If I was mad money for you to what? Do nothing. All of that stuff that make up this fairy tale. Because when no one's looking, that's when everything. That's actually great advice, but to the man in the situation, not her. But celebrating your divorce is wild, man. And surely after, it's like, damn, what did I do, man? That's all I'm getting. I can't live off of that, man. I'm gonna run over my side piece, man. We can't live off of that. <laughs> I've come to the realization tonight, I'm not made to date in 2023. Look at her eyes. That's the look of a woman that deeply, deeply, deeply regrets what she did. Like, man, the grass really ain't green over here. This is turf. This ain't even real grass. It just looks greener from the other side. I don't understand where the hell. Let it out. This is going to. Mm. I'm not made for situationships, whatever the f that means i'm gonna tell you what that means i'm gonna tell you what a situation ship is it means hey we're in this situation together and all you're gonna do is you're gonna spread your legs i'm gonna hit and then i'm gonna go about my merry way i don't plan on getting in a relationship with you and i don't plan on marrying you because the last thing that i'm gonna do is marry into the same situation that i just left because guess what the type of dudes you're gonna be getting with they probably just left the marriage so why would they marry the same woman they just left in another person which is you <laughs> That's all they want is situationships. I'm made to be a wife and a mom. I want my man to come home to me. I want to have dinner cooked. I want laundry done. I want to do all that. That's what I'm made for. That's what God made me for. I know people are going to be like, it's 2023. Women don't need to be doing that. I want that. The problem is that that's the way you were talking before you left your man and had to come to the harsh realization that it's not all sweet out there in them streets and that none of these dudes are trying to commit or get into a relationship with you. That's how you were talking before you left them. But now you want to be a woman of God. Now you want to be a housewife. Now you want to submit to your husband after you already left them and messed up a good situation for yourselves. Now, unlike that other woman, this chick right here, she kept it a buck. She kept it 1,000. Divorce my husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. Yeah, you were dead wrong. I'm going to tell you guys something, right? A lot of women think that they don't need a man because they can pay the bills themselves. They don't understand that living life is a lot more than just paying the bills. Paying the bills is actually the easiest part of a marriage and a relationship because, yes, a woman can actually do that today but they don't realize all of the little things that men do that make their lives easier on a day-to-day -day basis a lot of the times they don't realize all the problems that don't come into their lives as a result of a man being there to say no when she comes up with a crazy idea or when family members come up and try to impose themselves and the man just stands as a wall between them and whatever problem may come their way and the woman a lot of the times is in the man's ear just chewing him out like why are we not doing it like she can't see the problems that lie ahead so most women that get a divorce they never take that into consideration that the men naturally prevent a ton of problems coming into the home whether it's via her woman or something she wants to do or people around her or people around him his family or even the kids by saying no women don't understand that men are preventing issues in the marriage so when the man is no longer there and all these issues start to pop up they don't understand why they're like oh my god why is my the world seems to be falling apart why is this happening it wasn't happening before <laughs> i divorced my husband because i thought i was better than him because i had my degree now i divorced my husband because i thought a successful marriage meant i was here and he was down here. That is not some sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. And that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. That's what the other woman, the chick before this video, that's what she was trying to say without saying it. <laughs> I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to my husband. I felt like I was on this dark road with no street lights, pitch dark, and I couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go. I felt lost. I felt like I was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot. I felt hurt. Uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. I should not have left 
my husband. You definitely shouldn't have left him. And almost in all cases, the man moves out no problem because a man just wants a wife. He wants stability. He wants order. He doesn't want to be out there because he doesn't understand there's nothing there. But women, they get caught up in the illusion of, you know, a spark they may have had with a guy or wanting to go out there and explore. And they don't realize, man, that that's all it is. It's just an illusion. And once they go there and they'll be like, oh my God, this is it. It's just situationships happening out here like the other lady <laughs> called it. And then they want to go back, but they can't, you know, and the man the whole time, you know, he, he took his time. He built himself back up, you know, emotionally. He healed, you know, and eventually he moved on. And again, he had that order and stability that he had before, before the woman came along and said, hey, I ain't happy. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Broke chaos into his life. So now they look at that. It's like, oh my God, because if they, it, believe me when I tell you, this woman wouldn't really regret it that much if the guy was doing bad after they left. They would actually feel better about the situation. But the fact that men just do better, <laughs> that drives them crazy because they're over here stuck like, fuck, what did I do? After being with somebody for... 26 or 27 years I can't and the fact that a lot of these women just keep leaving marriages man after 20 years is insane like what do you think is out there for you in old age like you're not young anymore you know that's when health issues start to creep up family issues deaths that's when you need a husband the most women don't understand that the time where they need a husband the most is after 35 40 before then you're young you can't have a second chance if things don't work out but if you touch 40 man if you're touching 20 years in a relationship you better think a thousand times before leaving because health issues are coming your way uh life issues financial issues uh family deaths all kinds of crazies that happens to people man after 40 uh, it's like my brain is not even on day two of being divorced and i don't feel like i can make normal decisions have days where you know she says she's on day two and she feels like she can't even make normal basic decisions a lot of women don't take into consideration how much of the daily thinking the man does for them this be most women in relationships right they have a problem it doesn't matter it could be the simplest thing it could be the simplest they're on the phone man uh what do i do like bro the wife i could be down man you could have told her a thousand times now nah, just you know turn it off and turn it back on and it's like the wife i goes out Babe, the Wi-Fi's not working. What do I do? And then you just have this conversation over and over. And it was like, oh, babe, it's fine. You know, do this, do that. Or you come home and you fix it for them. And that's okay. Men don't mind doing that. You know, they'll do it a million times if they have to. You feel me? But the amount of little things that women call their husbands up for, like little issues, like trivial things, things they could really do themselves, but they know the fact that their husband is there and he could do it for them. They want him to think for them. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of these women, they say a lot of the same things, man. I just feel like I can't think straight. I feel like I can't do nothing. Yeah, because the person that was making all of the little decisions that you didn't have to waste mental energy on is no longer there so now it's on you you made the right decision and you're gonna have days where you feel like you don't know what decision to even make it was hard for me to even put clothes on this morning which is very odd um i called my mom and just told her mama i'm having a hard time being able just to put normal thoughts together i'm not sad over what my decision was i'm just sad because i feel like it was just a tough decision to make, period. And I did it because I had to place myself as priority and I'm proud of doing that. I had to place myself as a priority and I'm proud of doing that. Lady, I'm gonna tell you people something about a good decision, right? Uh, when you make a harsh decision that's good for the person, it's good for the individual, your life gets better afterwards. You're more relaxed, you're more calm, you feel like you can breathe, you feel like you can think clearly. Those are the signs of a good decision. All these women end up broken afterwards, broken emotionally. Why? Because they thought just because you think something is the right decision doesn't necessarily mean that it is. Just because your friends are telling you that it's the right decision and your family members doesn't necessarily mean that it is. What you experience afterwards is going to reveal the truth for you. Anybody who lives in an extremely toxic relationship that's truly bad for them their life gets better their health gets better the quality of their sleep gets better the financial situation gets better uh, their relationships with their friends and family members are repaired because a lot of the times your your partner will damage a lot of those relationships you understand what i'm saying so if you people don't know whether you made the right choice or not and it's an extremely difficult choice a lot of the times it's kind of difficult to tell whether you did the right thing or not pay attention to the quality of your life afterwards and don't put yourself in a state of delusion where you're pretending like she is she's trying to cope hard it's like you're broken lady you made the wrong choice you thought you made the right choice and you think that by thinking that you made the right choice that is gonna turn into the right no that's just not the way things work man and at the end of the day this video is not to dunk on these women at the end of the day you gotta feel bad for them but this is i hope young women are starting to see these older versions of themselves and think twice later on when they allow women to get in their ear talking about he don't treat you right he's not doing right by you well everything's perfect like the first video with the girl talking about i got this marriage my kids are done the one is in college the other one's graduating high school they're making a million dollars a year they have the fancy house they got the cars they got everything and the girl her home girl telling her now nah, you did the right thing girl your mental health come first but then she's absolutely broken 
after the matter. Talk less, do more is an embodiment of the spirit that the Broski carries because around here we don't talk about it, we be about it. So if you want to help support and grow the Broski army, the Broski channel, the Broski movement, go out there and get yourself a little water bottle, man. If you're out there hitting them gyms, man, get yourself a little coffee mug to remind yourself, man, stop talking so much, man, and start doing, you know what I'm saying? So if you have some goals you're trying to attack, man, and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's going to empower you, go cop that right now, man. The link is in the description box, man. Y'all see it below, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and I see you next time. Peace!